The second question on the molecular methods handout asks you to design PCR primers you could use to distinguish the various alleles. So uh, we have three different alleles. We have the wild type allele, we have the A allele, which is the point mutation, and we have the B allele, which is the deletion. Now if we're going to be distinguishing alleles by running them on a gel, what we need to have is different lengths of fragments in order to notice the differences between them. With the point mutation, even if you were to design PCR primers to amplify that region, so you have a forward and reverse primers pointing um, toward the point mutation, amplify that region, uh, the wild type and the A alleles are both going to have the same length. And so simply by running them out of the gel, you're not going to be able to see the differences between them. Even if you were to design one of your primers to cover over uh, the point mutation, this might result just in problems with your PCR not working, and you wouldn't reliably be able to tell whether that was just a problem with your experiment or an actual difference between the alleles. So this is not going to be a good method to distinguish between the wild type allele and the point mutation A allele. However, for the B allele, because there's a deletion, we can easily tell that there's going to be differences in the length of our PCR product. So if we design our primers, forward primer and reverse primer, around the region where the deletion is, we'll be able to um, result in different length fragments for the wild type and the um, B allele. The length of the fragment for wild type is going to cover this entire region, including the primers, because the primers become part of your final product. So suppose that that is 0.9 kb. Then the wild type fragment will be 0.9 kb, and the um, deletion fragment would be 0.9 minus 0.4, in other words, 0.5 kb. So let's look at a gel for our three individuals then. We have Bob, homozygous wild type, Irene, heterozygous for the deletion, and Jim, homozygous for the point mutation. So in Bob, we're going to have that 0.9 kb fragment. Actually, that will be present in all three. And then in Irene only, we'll have a 0.5 kb fragment corresponding to the deletion. A couple points to keep in mind about designing your primers. You would not want to design primers within the deletion area because that's just going to not amplify the deletion, so Irene would just end up with the 0.9 kb band. Also, in terms of the sequence, if this is the sequence of our gene, um, just given one strand, then our forward primer is going to be the same as that sequence. Our reverse primer needs to be the same as the other strand. In other words, if this is base pairing, our reverse primer needs to be the same as the opposite strand. And so that means that it will be the reverse complement of the gene sequence.